Oh my goodness, I am so excited to share with you guys what is inside of this beautiful golden box that Sigma was kind enough to send over to me in PR. I don't get much PR like this, you guys. I'm serious. And when I get something like this, I get pretty freaking excited to share it with you guys. If you didn't know, Sigma has just launched brand new single matte bronzers. They also launched some blushes and some highlighters as well. And there's also corresponding brushes that goes with each formula. We are going to dive into this today. We are going to do swatches. I'm going to try it out for you guys right here on camera so you can decide if these are worth your coin. So let's jump into it. But before we start, oh my goodness, it is so stinking hot. It literally went from like 40 some degrees. I'm not even kidding you. Like two weeks ago, I still needed my winter jacket. Ridiculous, right? And I complained about that. But now it's like 90 degrees outside, which I also complain about. Being from the Midwest, it's like you can only pick one or the other, okay? You either gotta be okay with it being ass freaking cold, or you gotta be okay with your skin melting off. So I'll be honest, after this past winter, I think I'm okay melting just a bit. But enough of that, let's dive in. Let me show you what is inside of this beautiful box. So to start, we do have six different highlighter shades. There is also a highlighter brush, which I will show you in just a moment. Then we also have, if I can pull this out, we do also have six powder blushes as well. And again, there is a brush to go with it. And then on the bottom here, we have four different, oops, four different bronzing shades as well as a brush to go along with that. Let's go ahead and dive into some swatches. Let's start with the highlighters because they are right on top. Now there is a highlight brush. So this is the high cheekbone highlighter brush. This is the F03. I freaking love Sigma brushes. And I do have a code with Sigma. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate code. So if you want to support your girl, I do make a small commission. So use my code. If you're not comfortable using it, then don't. It's there for you if you want to use it. It's a win-win for both of us. So let's go ahead and dive into these highlighters finally. So the first one we have right here, love this golden packaging. This is in the shade Sunstone. Now I have not swatched any of these. I have no idea what they look like. I am a huge fan of the Sigma ambiance. Is it the Sun, sun Glow? I can't remember the name, but there is a palette of highlighters that Sigma has and I absolutely love it. So let me show you what this shade looks like on my finger here and then we will do a swatch i'm going to start down here oh my goodness absolutely gorgeous look at that i feel like sigma highlighters shadows blushes in general are just so incredibly slept on the formulas are just divine and if these highlighters are anything like the ones that are in the palettes that i have it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. Now we have the shade Sizzle, which is pretty much probably my favorite shade, and this is probably gonna be the one that is gonna be my go-to. It's just like a simple, light, champagne-y shade. Look at that right here on the finger, absolutely beautiful. And then we will swatch it right here. Oh yeah, these are swatching like butter. Look at the reflect on that absolutely insane. I'm already in love. Now we have the next shade, Twilight, which is also absolutely stunning. I can definitely see myself using this shade as well. A little bit more of a paler shade. I believe this might be the lightest shade out of all of them. Absolutely gorgeous. These two shades right here, you guys. Holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. Oh, this is beautiful too. We have the shade Savannah. This one's a little bit more gold in tone. I'm so freaking hot, you guys. I'm just sweating, so I apologize if you see the sweat building up. Oh, I love that. That might actually be my shade. <gasps> Absolutely stunning. I can't stop looking in the viewfinder. Do you see this shit? Oh my gosh. I love highlighters. Highlighters are just everything. Highlighters and bronzers, my favorite part of doing my makeup. Now we have one of these like icy gold shades. This is the shade Moonbeam, which looks very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Out Highlighter. It's kind of like that gold, icy white gold reflect. Very beautiful. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And then we have one more left. We have the shade Golden Hour. Holy shit, that is gorgeous. That is Golden Hour for show. That one looks like it is a true gold highlight. So there are all the highlighter shades. Absolutely breathtakingly freaking beautiful. And again, love the packaging. The packaging is so pretty and sleek. And then I do want to mention that you do get a mirror inside as well. All right, moving on to the blushes. How gorgeous is this packaging here? We have like a nice rose gold moment here. So the first shade of blush I have is the shade Berry Love. 
absolutely stunning. So this one is matte. There are different finishes for the blushes. I have a hair in my mouth, of course. Now the blushes do have different finishes, so I will be sure to tell you what is what. So again, this is Berry Love, and we have a matte shade. Just a very pretty, simple, rosy blush tone. Gorgeous, gorgeous swatch. And then we have the classic Core de Rosa shade. I love this one. It's like a nice, warm, peachy, mid-tone nude. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. We'll see how many times I say gorgeous and stunning in the same sentence here. Now we have Sunset Kiss, another peachy shade, which this one looks like, again, right up my alley. I do love shades like this. Oh yeah, perfect for summer. I absolutely, I love that. Look at all these swatches so far. My goodness, makeup is so amazing. I love makeup. Makeup is just the funnest shit in the world. I can't get enough. Now we have the shade Tiger Lily, and ooh, this one has a sheen to it. <gasps> Oh my goodness. This might be my favorite. I am so excited. This might be the one that I try out. This looks gorgeous. Yes. I love a shimmery blush. Holy shit. I get way too excited about makeup, but look at that. It's almost like got like an orangey shift. I don't know if you guys can see that. <gasps> absolutely stunning. I can't. I absolutely can't. Now we have the shade Nearly Wild, which is a deeper tone. Very beautiful as well. I am impressed with how everything is swatching so far. Everything is super buttery and soft and just feels really good. I apologize if I keep touching my hair. I never wear my hair down, as most of you know, and it just drives me wild. Lastly, we have Bronze Star, another shimmery shade. Absolutely divine. I'm living for this one. This would look so beautiful on some deeper complexions. That is beautiful. I would even try to pull that off. Absolutely gorgeous. So we have all of the blushes and then we have all of the highlighters. Very tough decision, I would say, if you're interested in purchasing one of these because just having them here and swatching them all, I'm like, you want them all. They're just so good. All right, let's move on to the bronzers and then we can finally get some of these bad boys on my face because again, I look so freaking pale. I need some complexion products like yesterday. First bronzer, here is the packaging. We have this beautiful bronze packaging. I really do like the packaging. I think it's nice. Again, we've got mirrors. Everything has a mirror on the inside. So this is a bronzer in the shade light. Now I did take a peek at these already and I will tell you, I wish that there was a little bit more variety in the bronzers and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. So here is the shade light which is probably what I'll use. I'm debating on light and medium. But that looks like a perfect like mid-tone bronzy shade. Here's what the shade medium looks like. Very, very soft formula. And I do like that these are matte. Yeah, I think this one actually might be my shade that I might go with. I don't know, I can't tell. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll layer them. Maybe we'll try both. And we have the shade Dark right here. Very pretty. I feel like I could even use that shade if I really wanted to. I mean, it's really not that dark in my opinion. I feel like that one could be more on the medium dark side. And then the last shade we have is deep. So as you can see, I do wish that there was a little bit more of a range in the bronzers. This is the darkest shade right here. So there are all the bronzer shades. Like I wish there was just maybe like a couple more in between. That's just me though, but we'll have to see how they look. So again, here is everything swatched. Everything swatched beautifully. I'm impressed with the formulation so far as to how they feel to the touch. Finally, I can zoom you guys in. Where are my little clips here? Because I cannot wait to get this hair out of my face. <gasps> that feels amazing. Why didn't I just have this like this the whole time? I don't know, the world may never know. All right, let me zoom you in. Let's start with the bronzer, obviously. So here is the giant bronzing brush. I am gonna start off with the shade light to see what we get from that. I do have a fairly light complexion. I obviously haven't had any sun recently, so here we are. Brush, product, let's tap in. Not too much kick up, which is nice. We did get a good amount of pigmentation on here. That's what it looks like after I tap my brush. We still got a good amount of product. I'm just gonna gently sweep this on the cheeks. I don't know what to expect for pigmentation. Now, sometimes I get pretty picky uh, with bronzers. I love bronzers, but I don't want something that pulls pinky on me. I feel like this might be pulling a little bit pinky-ish, a little bit on the red side, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I do wanna try the medium shade on this side to see if we get the same effect. So let's try that. It's gonna use the same brush. Definitely does look a little bit deeper once you pick up some of the pigmentation, so. Oh yeah, I think I like the deeper shade better, or medium, I shouldn't say deeper because that's confusing. Light hand, it does go on really nicely. 
It doesn't look patchy or anything. And this brush is so incredibly soft. It's the only thing. So this is medium right here. And this one is light. Yeah, I don't know. Now that I'm looking in the viewfinder, I think they both look nice. But I do think I like the richness of the medium shade. So I'm going to build that up just a little bit. I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit on my brush and just gently tap that in on this side to even everything out. But it is a very soft, airbrushed looking formula. It is really nice. Again, I've always said that I feel like Sigma powders are very, very slept on. A little bit of medium up here on the perimeter of the face to just properly bronze. God, I love this brush. You Usually I don't like brushes of this size to bronze with because I have smaller facial features. As you can see how much space this brush takes up on my face, but it has enough structure to where I can stipple the product on and it's not fluffing everywhere. God, this is looking beautiful on the skin. What do you guys think so far? I'm just gonna pinch off the edge here and just lightly contour down my nose with the excess bronzer. Just typically how I contour, I don't really do specific nose contour. But yeah, this looks gorgeous. Wow. Really pretty, super pretty formula. All right, let's move on to the blush. I think I want to use that gorgeous shimmery tiger lily shade. I think that that would look very pretty with this look I have going on right now. It would look really pretty with the lip product that I have. And the brush that is used with this is the F10 Powder Blush Brush. So here's what that looks like. Really soft, just like the bronzer brush. I don't know if I mentioned what that was. This is the F78 Ultimate Bronzing Brush. Ultimate Bronze, it's called. Just a little bit of this blush. It does appear to be quite pigmented. And I do like the shape of this. This is the perfect size. I do like a more faint flush when it comes to blush. I don't like to layer a ton on. Sometimes in my videos, people are like, I can't even see anything on your face. Well, that's because I don't like an insane amount of blush on. I have naturally red skin, so I don't want anything looking like too much. Oh my goodness. This could quite possibly be one of the most beautiful blushes. And this brush is so soft. I just want to like, <gasps> look at that luxurious sweep it across the face. I am so extra. But that is a stunning blush shade. It does have a lot of sheen to it though. So if you're someone who doesn't love highlight, this is basically a blush and a highlight all in one. There is a lot of reflect going on here, but it looks beautiful on the skin. I really like this. Wow, that is stunning. Maybe we should layer on top of it just for shits and gigs. I think I wanna go into that one shade. Which one was that? It was like a peachy shade. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this one right here, Sunset Kiss, just on top, just for shits and gigs. After I just said I don't want too much blush, but I just wanna see. Super pretty, gorgeous. These are really nice on the skin. I am gonna set everything down with a setting mist once I'm done, just to kind of let everything melt into the skin. And then last but not least, my Favorite part is highlighter. I was debating between Sizzle right here and the shade Savannah, but I think I'm gonna go in with Savannah. And this is the highlighter brush. This is the F03 High Cheekbone Highlighter. And I'm just gonna dip into the shade right here, Savannah. Every time I hear Savannah, it makes me think of that, uh, that episode of The Office. Savannah, there's been a murder. <laughs> you guys remember that one? What you really want is more of a Savannah accent, which is more like, molasses just sort of spilling out of your mouth. Literally the first thing I think of, I'm a dork. Okay, let's hit the high points of the cheeks. Girl. Uh, yes, gorgeous. And that just pairs with that blush. <gasps> swimmingly. I am like on glow overload though because that blush has such a glow to it. This highlight is giving. It is serving. I look like a bronzy goddess. Look at my nose. Instantly snatched like Rudolph. We love to see it and this brush is really nice too. Picks up the perfect amount of product. All right, let's set everything down here. I'm gonna use some of my favorite Revolution Coconut Restore Setting Mist that I am almost out of. So this is how everything looks zoomed out. My goodness, I hope that this is translating on camera because this looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin, super sun-kissed and glowy. The matte bronzers blended beautifully on the skin. I would have to say if I had to pick one, 
I think the blushes and the highlight are my favorite. I love the bronzers. Don't get me wrong. I think they're gorgeous. If you love a matte bronzer, you're really going to like this formula. But there is just something about the way that these highlights and this blush just made my skin look just divine. To me, it looks so incredibly good. I love the way this highlight translated on the nose. It just kind of went and brought the light to where it needs to be. It just looks so glowy and beautiful and just melted right into the skin. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this. Are you intrigued by any of this? Do you plan on picking any of these up? I do want to say A plus on the brushes as well. I mean, you can't go wrong with Sigma brushes. I've been using them for years. They work so well. Well, they last such a long time. They're practically indestructible. Just so good. I have yet to be disappointed by something that I have used from Sigma, to be honest. I mean, I love the lip oils too. I don't know if you guys have tried their Renew lip oils, but this is what I have on right now. They are so juicy and absolutely comfortable. I did also use one of their eyeshadow palettes today. You can actually get these at Target, fun fact. Um, this is the Ivy eyeshadow palette. Just wanna show that to you guys too because this is what is on my eyes right now. And I am obsessed with these shadows. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, share it. It helps me more than you know. If you didn't know already, I'm on TikTok. So if you're on TikTok, go follow me over there. Crystal K Beauty, same name, same everything. Same with Instagram, Crystal K Beauty, everything is the same across the board. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss videos just like this one. You know, you know the drill. I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.